to bring the C term onto the opposite side where the binomial is. So we'll have x squared minus 10x plus 16 is equal to zero and we could factor, meaning we have x minus eight times x minus two is equal to zero. When we multiply, it gives us the positive 16. When we add, we get the negative 10. Set the factors equal to zero, so we know x is equal to eight and x is equal to two. However, family, nine times out of 10, it's not gonna work like this. What they want you to do is to complete the square. So if we start it over, we'll take half of the B term, which is 10, and then square it to create our perfect square trinomial. So we have x squared minus 10x plus 25 is equal to negative 16 plus 25. Have to balance the equation and add that term on both sides. Right side simplifies to nine. The left side, we're gonna break it down to its binomial, which will be x minus five squared. All you need to do is take your b term divided by two. Now we're gonna get rid of the exponent by taking the square root of it, and we'll do that on both sides. So x minus five is now equal to plus or minus the square root of nine, which is three. So x is equal to five plus or minus three. And when we think about it, x is equal to five plus three, meaning x is equal to eight. And the second expression, x is equal to five minus three, meaning x is equal to two.